He's the face of family television as we know it. He captivated audiences worldwide through thick and thin. This man changed the world through television. He brought families together. He pushed sensitive issues into the light of mainstream media and even led the destruction of the Berlin Wall. His name, Pippin. He really was an influential figure. Um, you know, I never felt negative emotions when I was around him, oddly enough. It was like I never felt fear or sadness. He just had this energy that kind of brought everything up when, once he entered the room. Oh, nice! What is it? Pippin, did you eat all the cupcakes again? <laughs> I guess you did do my diet a favor. I genuinely consider myself blessed to have been able to share the spotlight with somebody like Pippin for even five, ten minutes, you know. He's just all around an amazing guy. And I don't think there's ever going to be anyone like him again. I've worked in showbiz for 30 years now, and to date, Pippin is a... Uh... He's the finest actor I've had the pleasure to work with. He had this way of uh, taking the simplest line, you know, and just encoding it with all this feeling. He would just take it and just charge it with just so much energy and, and emotion. But uh, we all know that the Pippin that we saw on screen is a lot different from the Pippin backstage. He really just didn't get along with everybody. I mean. We knew that if him and Stevie got hanging around backstage, it was just a guarantee we weren't filming that day. Um, playing his daughter in the show was, it was pretty difficult. Um, especially under the circumstances that, uh, when the cameras were off, we were together. We dated for most of the filming process. It, yeah, it put a lot of pressure on us. Because, you know, we couldn't let our off-screen relationship seep into the show and make our daughter-father relationship weird. But, um, I don't know. With Pippin, it, it got pretty hard, um, once he started drinking. I don't know, Dad. What if I mess up? I don't want to lose the spelling bee in front of the whole school. Okay, cut. Pippin, stop with the forceful sexual remarks, please. Can you do that for me? After the show ended is when we went our separate ways. I I just couldn't handle a relationship like that. The cancellation of our show, that was uh, that was a really hard one. You know, Pippin, he took it the hardest. You know, we, we all saw it coming, but you know, no one no one was prepared for it. But we're going on our twentieth year, you know, it was two thousand two, and at the time the Simpsons was our biggest competitor. I know that there had been talks for a crossover, you know, hopefully to you know, gain some kind of bridge between the two, but it just, it didn't go through. And, you know, with the way that Stevie and Pippin were acting off set, the network, they just had to squash that immediately. It's, uh, we, we just weren't the same family show anymore. Pippin and I would notoriously tear the set apart on almost a daily basis. You know, the 80s and 90s in show business, it wasn't difficult to get drugs on a Hollywood set. So uh, we kind of, you know, we lost control sometimes. But uh, once the show got canceled is about when we kind of came to the crossroads. Um, he went one way, uh, I went the other. I became, I entered priesthood. Been working on that for about a year now. And I, he, but he kind of went in and out of rehab for a little while. Uh, last I heard from him was in 2004. Before 2005, he called me, but um, I had nothing outside of that. Once we broke it off, he, he kept trying to come back to me for years, but I just, I, I couldn't do it. Um, he tried rehab, and that didn't work. Uh, last I heard from him, I think it was in 2006, and I'm definitely the last one to hear from him. No one really knows what happened to Pippin. We'll always be able to turn on TV and catch a rerun of Pippin and Me. It's a, it's a show that's gonna withstand the test of time. I'm, I'm really firm in that belief. And with that comes the mystery, you know, where is Pippin? I don't think we're ever gonna know. And honestly, that, that's a little frightening, but it's also a little poetic.